voting. You know, that was the worst thing that ever happened to America, too. Look at us now. Women overwhelmingly vote um, on their emotions. And their emotions, and the liberals are very good at appealing to emotions. Oh, look at these migrant children. They have nowhere to go. Look at these uh, this pregnant migrant woman. She has nowhere to go. We have got to open up our borders and give her cash assistance for the rest of her life here in America. And women vote for that. They vote to have uh, uh, weapons taken away, our Second Amendment rights taken away. Women used to vote. Uh, they used to not vote because their husband would make the choice for them. Now, if just our husbands and landowners were voting, we'd be in a much better place than we are now. We'd have closed borders. We'd have uh, no infringements on our Second Amendment rights. Red flag laws would be a thing of the past. And uh, we as women wouldn't be, you know, have such authority and power over who gets into elected office because we don't deserve it. The way that women vote, it's been terrible. I'm apologizing as a female voter for the rest of my fellow female voters because they are voting our country away. And it is extremely... Lauren Witzke in this photo says it all. The only place you will find this nonsensical uh, maniac madness, house of horrors, is in the conservative ranks. Now, we shouldn't be surprised because when the so-called red wave didn't materialize and it was downgraded to sprinkles, they had to blame somebody, right? And so who did they go after? They focused their right-wing outrage on young women. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought y'all just adored and loved the Constitution. But I guess that's when it only uh, benefits you. Uh, the Constitution gives us all the right to vote, including uh, women and black people. Now, don't get it twisted. Uh, Lauren is a Russia-loving white nationalist and a conspiracy theorist to the core. She believes that if you don't think like her, then your voting rights uh, should be simply stripped. If that ain't the meaning of lawless, I don't know what is. Now, keep in mind, she was the Delaware Republicans Party nominee for the U.S. Senate back in 2020. Now, going back to what she said, she don't believe that women should have the right to vote in America. That literally is a slap in the face to all those who fought uh, for women to have that right back in 1920. Uh, Ma'am, uh, you do know that if your ass don't have the right to vote, then your little ass uh, don't get the right to run uh, for office. But you did. Now you came up a little short, uh, thanks be to God, but that's neither here nor there. I digress. It, you lost. But the bottom line is you had the right to even do so. Now, it should come to no surprise that uh, Miss Whiskey is a white nationalist and she's a part of the white nationalist America First movement. She is also known for her misogyny and her Christian uh, nationalist views, simply anti this and anti that. You see, for people like her, politics is about uh, who you can hate and put down and not who you can elevate and help and uh, put in a better situation. Uh, Miss Whiskey, I'm going to need you to get somewhere and sit your ass down. And those would be facts on facts on top of facts. Carry on.